In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. From the highest mountain peak to the deepest ocean trench, God's glorious creation unfolds before our eyes. Let's embark on a journey through His majestic landscapes, carried on the wings of faith and the Word. The journey begins in the serene meadows, where golden sunlight pierces through the morning mist. Even the lilies of the field, clothed in splendor, whisper God's promise from Matthew 6.28, reminding us not to worry about tomorrow. Soar above the sprawling forests, a testament to God's abundant provision. Psalms 23, one resonates through the rustling leaves. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. His grace suffices, his mercy overflows. Next, we traverse the mighty mountains, symbols of life's challenges. Yet, Psalm 46. One, two assures us, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. The journey takes us over expansive deserts, a picture of life's dry seasons. But remember Isaiah 43, 19, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. The sight of the vast ocean stretches before us, mirroring God's limitless love and mercy. Romans 8, 38, 39 proclaims, Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Finally, we witness the awe-inspiring spectacle of the setting sun. This radiant display paints the sky with Psalm 113. 3. From the rising of the sun to the place where it sets, the name of the Lord is to be praised. This journey, powered by faith, is more than a mere venture through landscapes. It's a spiritual expedition, a pilgrimage through the Word of God. The Word that was in the beginning, the Word that was with God, the Word that is God. Every dawn, every dusk, every whisper of the wind, every ripple of the river speaks of God's love. His creation is a testament to His infinite wisdom and matchless power. It invites us to trust Him more, to lean on His understanding, and to rest in His promises. The meadows tell us not to worry, for God adorns even the lilies with splendor. The forests echo with the promise of God's provision. The mountains stand firm, reminding us that God is our refuge and strength. The deserts, in their stark barrenness, hold the promise of God making a way in the wilderness. The oceans, vast and deep, symbolize the immeasurable love of God that nothing can separate us from. The setting sun paints the sky with colors of hope and faith, prompting us to praise the Lord from dawn till dusk. These landscapes, these aspects of God's creation, are His love letters to us. They remind us of His presence, His promises, and His power. They challenge us to trust Him more, to surrender our fears and doubts, and to experience His peace that surpasses all understanding. So next time, when you find yourself in the shadow of towering mountains of problems, remember the refuge of God. When you wander in the wilderness of uncertainty, remember God's promise of making a way. When you feel lost in the ocean of life's trials, remember God's boundless love that nothing can separate you from. And when the sun sets and darkness creeps in, remember the promise of a new dawn, a new hope. God is in the sunrise, painting the sky with hope. He is in the sunset, filling the horizon with peace. He is in the deserts and the oceans, the mountains and the meadows. He is in every beat of our hearts, every breath we take. He is the Word, and the Word is with us. So let's continue this journey, a journey of faith and trust, a journey of surrender and hope, a journey of love and grace, a journey through God's Word in God's world. Each day is a new page, each moment a new verse. Let's read it. Let's live it. Let's share it. Because this is not just our journey. It's everyone's. It's a journey through the radiant light of God's love, a journey into the heart of His Word. So, rise up, child of God. Rise up and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. 
Let his word be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. Keep journeying, keep exploring, keep believing, for the word is with you, within you, around you. The word is in the breathing landscapes of God's creation. May this journey inspire you, challenge you, and transform you. May it lead you closer to him, deeper into his word, and further into his love. This is your journey, this is your faith, this is your God, and this is his radiant light. Shine in it, live in it, bask in it, for you are a child of God and you are loved beyond measure. So embark on this journey, immerse yourself in his word, and let his radiant light guide you.